Hello everyone, my name is Guillermo Elias Alonso. The presentation I share today is our work on efficient real-time dynamic diffuse global illumination using sine distance fields. First of all, I will give a brief introduction to the related work and this work's motivation. As we can see, global illumination is very important for photorealistic rendering. It can greatly enhance the realism of the scene. However, global illumination is still a very difficult topic. Every year, quite a lot of work is carried out around this topic. For example, RTX GI, Voxel GI, Screen Space GI, Ray Tracing GI, Uwe Baker, and so on. Nevertheless, still a challenge to achieve high quality global illumination on relatively low end platforms. We will first briefly introduce several global illumination solutions in recent years. First, RTX GI. RTX GI saves the scene radiance at different points into a set of probes. And by introducing RTX hardware acceleration, it makes real-time probe updates using ray tracing become possible, leading to fully dynamic global illumination. However, this method relies on proprietary hardware acceleration and cannot be used on universal platforms. Next, ray tracing GI. Ray tracing GI runs path tracing algorithm in very low sample per pixels. This makes real-time performance possible, but with a heavy increase of noise. The noising improves the quality of ray tracing GI to a certain extent, but it also brings some problems such as loss of detail and ghosting. In addition, the cost of this kind of method is huge, which limits its users. Voxel GI was first proposed in 2011. In the past decade, many variants of were developed on it. The core idea is to use voxels to discretize the scene and use the discrete information to calculate the global illumination of the scene. However, real-time voxelization is still very slow and is prone to light leakage. Currently, SSGI is the fastest method to calculate global illumination. It uses screen space information for the global illumination calculation. Nevertheless, due to the lack of information in the screen space, SSGI will get a very big deviation from the actual results in many cases. And the last one, UberBate, which was proposed in the last secret edition. This method enhances the traditional baking system to handle limited dynamic scene and lighting changes. To sum up, the existing methods face the following problems. Expensive computed overhead, extra blur caused by denoise, light and shadow leaking problems, and special hardware requirements. To solve these problems, we developed our global illumination solution, STF-DDGI. Our method's main structure is based on a probe-based GI framework like RTX GI, but with some important differences. Here are the stages of our approach. First, we convert scene geometry to simple delicate primitives, STF primitives and we use these primitives to construct a sine distance field. Then, we use this SDF to perform sphere tracing and sample RSM to update the probes. In the next stage, we interpolate probes to get the result. At the same time, SDF soft shadow tests are employed to prevent light leaking. Finally, we improve the lighting quality by using screen space information. Here's a quick preview of our GI result in four different scenes. OK, 
Here are our main contributions. We propose a novel scene-dependent propositioning method based on STF that captures the special distribution of the irradiance function. We propose a new solution to prevent light leaking, which addresses the artifacts presented in previous methods. We propose an efficient screen space refinement approach that enhances the detail as well as the visual quality for probe-based GI. Let's look at the details of our method. Our scene is represented by many STF primitives. We split and pack them into clusters using k-means. After that, we will get a sign distance field of our scene geometry, which could be used to query distance fast. Using SDF, we can position probes dynamically to get a better location distribution. Intuitively, a probe falling into an object will provide invalid error information, so we push it out using a gradient descent method. And for those probes which are far away from any surface on the scene, we turn them off temporarily until any object enter the rage again. They are marked with purple borders in the picture. After probe, using, probe positioning is done, we update probes using sphere tracing to get the ray intersection of the sign distance field. Those red points in the picture are the hit points of the ray starting from some certain probe. Then we query reflective shadow map at those points to get the irradiance of this direct light. To achieve multi GI, we sample the surrounding probes of the hit point. By reusing the probe GI of the last frame, we can make light bouncing through the scene deeper and deeper. When sample and interpolate the surrounding probes of a point to get GI, we perform an extra visibility test to eliminate light leaking artifacts. The ordinary trilinear interpolation weights are then multiplied by a SDF soft shadow test term to exclude probes on the other side of the wall. The SDF soft shadow scheme was proposed in the GDC 2018. This method is very fast and could produce soft penumbra transition. However, execute a total of eight shadow tests of eight surrounding probes for each screen pixel is of course too expensive. To reduce this cost, we use the downsampling method proposed by Rockstar Games, which was originally used for cloud ray matching. Based on the words, we add an extra deduplication step to further reduce the overhead. Through those steps, finally, we can get the probe GI result of screen pixels. But due to the spatial discretization sampling of using probes, GI will lose many details. You can see this picture using only probe GI. The results are rigid and lack details. To improve the quality of probe GI, we propose a new method called contact GI that uses screen space information. You can see the significant detail improvements that this approach brings. For each pixel, we check its neighbor pixels to get the information we need. Take one neighbor pixel as an example. We use the formula to calculate its contribution to the center pixel, at the same time, update the corresponding horizon vector. When the current pixel zenith is smaller than or equal to the zenith angle of horizon vector h, this pixel is considered to be visible and adds its contribution to the result. When the current pixel zenith is greater than the zenith angle of horizon vector h, 
8, this pixel is considered to be invisible and it's discarded. Ambient occlusion strength is used as a weight to lerp the probe irradiance and the contact GI irradiance. After that, we will get the final result as shown before. Here we show the performance of our method. We achieved a performance of 1.3 milliseconds on the RTX 2080Ti running the Sponsor Palace scene. When things come to GTX 970M, time goes to 9.05 milliseconds, but still acceptable. We compare our result with five traced grand truths in the Sponsor Palace scene. You can see that although there is a big gap in some areas, the overall result is natural and has very good performance. We also compare our method with respect to the probe density. You can see from the picture that when the probe density increases, the resulting GI becomes close to the ground truth. But even when using very low probe density, light leaking artifacts still do not happen, although the results, of course, may not be as accurate. This picture shows a comparison with other state-of-the-art methods. Our method shows the best result in every area and has almost the best performance. Through this demo video, you can see the dynamic performance of our approach. There are still some limitations in our method. Currently, we use a fixed density of probes for the grid, but our method could benefit from a varying density probe volume, especially for bigger range GI. Our research also focuses on the dynamic diffuse GI. Our approach uses simplified SDF primitives to represent the scene which in our experiments were created first manually for simplicity. For more information, we invite you to check our paper. Thank you for your attention.